Hi, Eric, Egg again. Uh, I'm going to revisit Jaggies this time because uh, I think it's about time we made a new tutorial about one. Okay, um, basically you've got a, a cut out here of, a, of an apple. Um, I'll just move this so you can see that I've drawn that line and I'm going to cut that apple out. So I've just got the apple shape without the background. Uh, drag select over to, so I've got two objects selected. Go arrange combine shapes, intersect shapes and that just leaves you with a nice clean apple figure um, you can see it's nice and clean over that background sorry, um, control front and that background um, there's no, no jaggies at all on that um, unfortunately what happens is when you go file, export um, we're going to export this as a GIF so I'm going to call this one GIF dot GIF, which I always use for a temporary GIF file. Now export, replace, and it's 256 colours, which is the maximum you can have for a GIF. And it's um, the background is transparent, and you go export. So that's exported. Um, now, if you re-import it back into uh, into Zara, into Extreme, um, you find this, and this is the uh, this is that same GIF I've um, imported and this is a problem you have you can see that that looks fine there um, because you exported that uh, shape against the white background uh, and it looks fine here against the white background but when you move it over um, a multicolored background or a different colored background you get what we call these jaggies and uh, you see a lot of it on the internet and it's just um, people just being lazy and not doing the job uh, the job correctly in the first place so how do you get rid of those jaggies well there's d two simple ways um, first if you're going to get rid of that do that apple bring it over to there and let's say that's the background that, that green is the background color you want to export that to image on you just go file export and this time I'll um, gift to I'll call this one gift to export replace um, the same again 256 colors um, with a transparent background go export um, just, this is the same one file imported now um, it just saves me time on the tutorials but this is an imported one and you can see it's still got a green um, halo around it a green jaggies around it uh, still looks bad against other different colors but when you put it over the background that you're supposed to be laying it over there's no jaggies it's nice and smooth um, the other alternative and, uh, is to actually um, if we get that and go file export and this time we're going to export it not as a gif but a png um, png dot PNG export replace and this time I'm going to do it with true color plus uh, uh, alpha um, and then hit export now this time when I this is again the same one's been imported against the white there's no jaggies against the multicolored background there's no jaggies against the green background there's no jaggies so um, if you really want a good image in um, use PNG with uh, true color and alpha but if you want to keep the image size down and that's one of the problems with PNG is I suggest you use um, 256 color transparent GIF but when you do when when you make the uh, image make sure you're doing it over the background that it's going to be displayed on anyway I hope this helped goodbye